Okay, so welcome back to the tutorial, everybody. And in this lesson, we're going to go ahead and get an introduction to our modeling tool set. Now, whenever we look at our, let's say, polygon um, shelf, you can see that there are a lot of tools that are actually on our shelf here. Um, but these tools are also not only contained with inside our mesh layout here of our polygon module, but they're also under our edit mesh tool set and now as you can see there are a lot of tools here and you're probably thinking to yourself well what do all these tools actually go ahead and do um, I'm going to show you individually exactly what each one of these do um, as well as uh, a good portion of these some I won't actually go ahead and define simply because there isn't necessarily enough time to to go ahead and do that and I don't think I actually have an example um, to go ahead and do all of these but okay let's go ahead and let's first take a look here at our mesh menu as you can see we have um, probably about two dozen here okay so let's just go ahead and just work through and we'll just uh, go ahead and see what each one of these do so let's go ahead and we'll start off with a polygon sphere here okay um, I'm just gonna go ahead and change our subdivision axes down to something like 12 um, which you can see is over here on the right hand side simply in our inputs uh, information tab but you can also just you know simply go ahead and change the radius if you want to by uh, just clicking on the on the letter or on the uh, the name of what that item is and then just middle mouse uh, button drag and it'll either you know increase or decrease as you want um, the subdivision axis and height will actually do the same as you can see the geometry there um, sort of changing okay so let's just go back to, to 12 here the create UVs is basically um, working in conjunction with your UV editor and I'll go ahead and explain that in a little bit here okay so let's just hit 5 on our keyboard to bring back our shaded model and we're gonna turn our wireframes on here okay so we have one of these in our scene and we're not obviously going to be able to go ahead and combine this so you have to think of it as combining it with something else okay so let's just go ahead and let's duplicate this just by hitting control D okay and now you can see that we have two individual ones here okay so let's go ahead and select these hit combine and let's see what this does and as you can see it simply combines them okay so instead of having two meshes we simply have one mesh now okay and separate is basically going to do the opposite here where instead of combining them it's going to separate them back so instead of now having one we have two individual meshes again okay let's take a look at extract here let's go ahead and delete this one and we'll go ahead and move this back here um, and you should also understand that and should also know that you should always delete the type by history here okay should always modify and center your pivot here so that your pivot is basically in the center of your model and you want to freeze your transformations and if you take a look whenever I run this over here in the channel box it's gonna basically set everything back to zero okay so let's go ahead and extract here and we'll need to go ahead and not necessarily open the channel box here but it's going to extract um, faces here as you can see is what it says so let's just go ahead and select a couple faces here okay hit extract and now if we go back into object mode here you can see that it has simply extracted those faces from the model okay so let's go back and jump a few steps here um, your bull bulleens are uh, uh, these are a little bit complex um, I'll give you an understanding of what they do here too so let's just go ahead and just duplicate this one here okay and we'll just move this down at least in a place where it's gonna work and I'm just gonna run a script for my shelf there okay so let's just select one select the bottom one and we'll take a look and see what this union does and it basically works the same way that the uh, combined function inside of Maya works. Okay. Select the top one again. Select the bottom one. 
your difference is basically going to be the difference of the model so you can see where we have one that's actually inserted inside of the other one and it's basically giving you the difference of what's sort of being subtracted from the model okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the intersection one where it's just going to give you the intersecting faces or where the models actually intersecting with each other um, I tend whenever I'm modeling I tend not to use the actual boolean functions because a lot of the times it's going to give you geometry that's sort of malformed um, if you can use these properly yes it is powerful but I, I tend to actually not use these a lot I tend to do a lot of things by hand simply because it's easier okay so let's go ahead and bring those back here let's delete this bottom one take this other one and, and bring it down here okay the smooth function here is basically just going to smooth your model as you can see there um, that's pretty self-explanatory your average um, vertices really works in conjunction sort of sort of the same way as the smooth tool so there's really no need to, to actually go ahead and run this um, your transfer attributes is more for things like transferring UV maps from one to another um, same with the paint transfer um, transfer attribute, uh, attributes weights tool your clipboard actions I technically um, I really don't tend to use these a lot either reduce is basically going to reduce the geometry that's on your model here okay so if you want to let's say reduce it by 50 percent you can see where it's going to sort of re take at least 50 percent of that geometry out of the model okay clean up this is more for things like telling you if you have five-sided faces or uh, malformed geometry it's actually in your model and let's go ahead and take a look at this one as you can see here fixed by and this is going to be important say whenever it comes to game models and if you need to actually go ahead and fix your model to make sure it's all qualized before it gets triangulated this is going to help you do that triangulate is basically going to work similar to what a game engine would work it's basically going to triangulate your model um, quadrangulate so if you have a triangulated mesh here it's going to do its best to go ahead and make your your model completely quads as you can see there it will just take and remove all that triangulation to it okay fill hole is basically going to fill a hole here so let's go ahead and select a few faces and I'll show you what this is going to do here and we need to go ahead and basically just select the border edge of what is going to be the hole go ahead and fill the hole and you can see where it basically fills the hole but it doesn't necessarily fill the hole in a way that it's going to give you back all that geometry you would actually have to go ahead and make all these um, geometric cuts okay create polygon tool is basically going to allow you to create a polygon sculpt geometry tool um, now this isn't going to work like ZBrush um, this is going to give you more of a general type sculpt okay and you can see where the geometry is sort of going to change here um, this doesn't necessarily have a lot of resolution but yeah you can see where it's going to be powerful for things like creating terrain and stuff okay and I just simply made the the brush larger by grabbing B and just dragging it or pressing down B and just middle uh, left mouse and drag okay so let's go ahead and take a look at our mirror cut geometry or uh, our mirror so let's go ahead and delete try to delete one half of this well let's just go ahead and create a new one and it'll make it easier take this down to 12 again okay so let's go ahead and just delete one half of this okay so let's select it take a look at our mirror geometry okay and it's basically just going to mirror the geometry and <clears throat> the axis that we have selected now you can either merge with the original or um, choose not to merge the vertices you sort of want to keep this on um, in some cases you may have to turn it off whenever you're using it and you can see where it's going to basically mirror our geometry here as you can see 
and it'll also do it in the y direction. Um, positive and negative in both directions is basically what it does there. Okay, so let's go ahead and just remirror this. Oops. And it works in conjunction with your access tool here, or your access icon. So knowing which direction you're actually mirroring in is going to be helpful. Okay, so let's take a look at our edit mesh menu here. And I'll walk you through um, a portion of these except for the bottom. Okay, because these really aren't necessarily modeling tools that I tend to use a lot so um, you mainly want to understand what the the big ones do here so your keep faces together here works um, in conjunction with your extrude tool okay so let's just go ahead and select a few faces here and let's go ahead and hit extrude here and I'm just gonna simply scale in uniformly and you can see where it's keeping these faces together whenever it extrudes so let's go ahead and turn this off we'll go ahead and hit G to repeat the last command that we used which is our extrude okay and now you can see where it's not going to keep those faces together whenever we extrude in as you can see there let's go ahead and let's turn this back on Okay, so that's the keep faces together and our extrude. Let's go ahead and we're going to need to duplicate this again. Okay. And let's just go ahead and delete some faces off of both of these here. Okay. And we'll need to go ahead and combine these. Okay, we'll just double click so we can select the entire border edge of that hole. And let's take a look at our bridge. As you can see, it basically bridges the gap between those two. And you can always adjust the uh, the resolution and whatnot as, as you see fit. The taper is basically going to make one end smaller. Okay, so it's tapering from large to small. And you can see where it will also basically twist here which we don't necessarily have enough geometry to go ahead and do that okay let's go ahead and basically fill that hole and let's go ahead and delete this side again here okay your cut faces tool is sorta of gonna be cutting faces on your model here okay so let's go ahead and select it and just click an edge and you can see where it drags out like a like a large edge now whenever I release the left mouse button you're gonna see where it's gonna sorta of cut faces on your model but it's not gonna just cut it on one side it's gonna cut it completely through the geometry of the model as you can see here let's go ahead and go back there let's grab our split polygon tool and this is basically going to allow you to split polygons at any sort of um, universal point that's on your model here as you can see you can simply draw it out from a from any point you, it doesn't have to necessarily start um, at two vertices or uh, at a collection of vertices you can simply start right in the middle of an edge and then you just hit enter to go ahead and actually stop the tool there Let's go ahead and draw it back there. Our insert edge loop tool is, you know, pretty self-explanatory. It just basically allows you to insert an edge loop. Okay. Our offset edge loop is going to allow us to draw an edge on each side of an edge that's actually on the model. As you can see here, instead of drawing one, it draws two. As you can see there. Add divisions is basically going to allow us to add divisions to our model you can see here now you can either do that uniformly or um, exponentially which is you know just uniformly the exponentially is just going to be in one direction whether it's in your U direction or your V direction as you can see there And you also see that every single, almost every single tool inside of Maya has these little option boxes to allow you to adjust your um, settings before you use them. 
but I tend to use them and then I'll just adjust them over here on the side so let's go ahead and take a look at the slide edge tool this is basically going to allow you to grab an edge just grab an edge and we'll hit the slide tool, ed tool, edge tool and it sort of just slides an edge um, somewhat useful but it, you know what I mean if you need to go ahead and actually move an edge it's just easier to move that edge yourself um, but you can see where it's going to allow you to go ahead and slide the edge transform component we aren't going to take a look at um, flip triangle edge we aren't really going to take a look at spin the edge here is just simply this and you can see where it you know is somewhat useful there poke face here is um, I would say you have to think of it as sort of like taking a pin and poking a hole in your face okay so let's just with our with a face selected here you can see if we use that poke face it basically just sort of like takes a pin and pokes your face it, but it also will take and give you a little bit of extra geometry there duplicate face here so if we just select another face hit duplicate face instead of having one face we're gonna have the two of those faces you can see where if you use your uh, imagination here this is going to be useful in terms of say like maybe parenting something to the mesh in terms of rigging or something okay detached component Th this is where it's um, probably a little bit more complex here but um, before I go ahead and delete these edges let's go ahead and just delete the edge and vertex here and you can see where it's going to delete all that geometry all that extra geometry okay your detach and connect components every point that's that's on your mesh has four different um, vertices into it okay so let's go ahead and detach our component on our vertice there so now if we go ahead and select the vertice you can see that we're going to have four different um, components here that make up that single vertice okay and connect components is basically going to work the opposite way where it's sort of going to allow you to merge those okay the merge tool here is basically allowing you to merge two vertices together as you can see there now let's just go ahead and move these vertices up and down here the merge to center here okay is basically gonna merge to the center of this gap okay so let's go ahead and run that and you can see where it comes right back to the center the collapse here is gonna work on your fa on faces here so let's just select a bunch of different faces okay. and it's basically gonna take out a lot of this geometry and as you can see there the merge vertex tool and the merge edge tool are basically the same thing so let's go ahead and take a look at our delete edge and vertex here so you can simply just select an edge delete that edge and the vert vertices so it's going to take out the edge and the vertices and if we just went and went ahead and selected that edge and hit delete on our keyboard you can see where the geometry doesn't change and that's because the vertices are actually still in here as you can see okay chamfer vertex is basically just going to chamfer that edge bevel will give you a bevel to that edge okay and you can always you know adjust the attributes in the side there as you can see and you can also add segments to it um, now you can see where the segments are only going to go up to 12 but if you just click in there and add a add a higher number you can also see where you can add an, um, a larger number to that and it works the same way with the bridge tool as well okay and so now that we have all of our um, pretty much modeling tools down you can see where this is you know fairly powerful in terms of being able to create geometry and, and modify that geometry in sort of any way that you want um, Maya is great for that 
uh, if we take a look at our uh, our normals here the main things that you really have to understand here are basically you reverse and, and set the face um, the rest of these are, are sort of um, I don't really want to say useless but they're they're overdrawn um, you really don't have to understand them the main ones here that you really have to understand are you reverse and, and set the face so let's go ahead and turn on our lighting here and you can see where this is completely gray okay so let's go ahead and come up here to the normals reverse and you can see where this is now going to turn black this is geometry that you wouldn't want in terms of, of rendering um, because a lot of the times whether you're rendering with metal ray or whether you're rendering, rendering with V-Ray it's not necessarily going to be able to see these black faces simply because they're reversed so you want to be able to have clean geometry and faces that are actually set to to render so you whenever you uh, render your model you definitely want to make sure that your uh, geometry is actually gray here instead of being black okay your soften your edges is basically um, going to soften the edges on your model it's not necessarily going to make that model smooth it's just basically going to soften the edges here okay and it only goes up to 180 you can't necessarily change that okay harden the edge is basically going to harden the edges of your model and it just works back backwards to the soften the edges on your model okay so now that we uh, have a good understanding of our modeling tools, in the next lesson we will uh, go ahead and come back and uh, continue to learn. So come on back.